Welcome to our thought for July the 16th. Our readings are taken from 1 Samuel chapter 31, Jeremiah chapter 6, and Matthew chapter 17. And our thought is, if you have faith like. Only Jesus had perfect faith, but he gives a very useful lesson to his disciples in today's chapter 17 in Matthew. He had come down from the mountain on which he had been with his three chosen disciples, And in the meantime, the other disciples had been unable to heal an epileptic boy an anxious father had brought to them. They had reason to expect they would be able to perform a healing as they had earlier performed healings when Jesus sent them to proclaim the kingdom, heal the sick, as recorded in chapter 10 and verse 7 and 8. And they were to do so among the lost sheep of the house of Israel. They had the faith then to do it, but they had been specifically uh, commissioned by Jesus to do so. This time, Jesus calls them faithless. How long am I to be with you? In verse 17. And he then goes on and heals the boy instantly. They asked Jesus, why were they unable to heal? He says, because of your little faith. Verse 20. Then he makes a remarkable statement. If you have faith like a grain of mustard seed, you will say to the mountain to be removed. Now, a grain of mustard seed is amongst the smallest we know from that earlier parable that grows to a big tree and houses all manner of birds and animals underneath it, as that parable showed that a little faith can grow into a large tree. Note what Jesus adds. He said, you will say to this mountain, move from here to there and it will move and nothing will be impossible for you. Now, Jesus is making a particular point. Sometimes Bible readers talk of faith to move mountains, but Jesus does not say faith to move any mountain. He says faith uh, faith to move this mountain. And there is a particular mountain in Israel that God is going to move. It is programmed to happen like the mustard seed. Do we really believe the prophets with all our heart? It is prophesied on that day when his feet shall stand on the Mount of Olives that one half of the mountain shall move northward and the other half shall move southward. Zechariah 14 and verse 4. This mountain will move. Recall the words of the two uh, angels, as described as white men in robes, to the astonished disciples who watched Jesus ascend from the Mount of Olives. They said, this Jesus will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Acts chapter 1 and verse 11. Now that time will be utterly awesome, just like the experience of those chosen disciples on the Mount that we read about today. When Jesus was transfigured, they fell on their faces and were terrified. Verse 7. In the future, those with true faith will hear Jesus say something like he said to those three disciples, Rise and have no fear. Well, what is our faith like? What wonders await those with a genuine faith that Jesus will reward? For nothing will be impossible in God's kingdom. Thank you for joining us for Thought for the Day once again, and we pray that your vision of the kingdom of God has been strengthened today. God bless. Mm